So now here's the longer version of what I'm doing here. Doing here. Uh, I'm trying to do a cross flash effect photo. So I'm going to have one flash behind me. I'm going to move it so it's a little bit closer. And this one's got a red gel on it, so hopefully the back of me should have a slightly redder touch to it. And over at the other side, in front, we've got an R flash, uh, which is at full power, because we're fighting against the sun. We're going to bring that a little bit closer as well. And we've got them so they're both roughly aimed straight at each other. Now with that, I've got the camera set up on a manual everything manual shutter speed and I've pre-focused it so it's just about on that little plant there and I'll go and run into position so here's how this goes now here's a random question which I probably wouldn't normally be asked is what if we want to make the snow look orange not yellow like it's peed on but just orangey snow what can we do to make it so that the, orange snow, uh, the snow is orange, but I look like I'm in the normal, correct uh, light balance? And to do that, we need to do something, we need to bring out something out of our bag which we, don't, which we barely ever use, and that's a CTB. Now some of you are going, what the hell is a CTB? A CTB is a colour temperature blue uh, gel, which you can stick on your flashes. And then what to do is set the camera for a very high white balance temperature, around about 7,000 or 8,000 or 9,000 and then that will mean it's the same colour as the blue coming off the flash, coming off me but everything which is normal temperature, around about 5,000, will be made more orange. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is a CTB, this is a full blue, which on it, it actually says boosts 3,200 to 5,000 something. So what we need to do is do that in the opposite way of boosting 5,000, which is what this light is just now, up to an extra 8,000 onto the camera. So let's do that. So here you can see we've set the white balance to over 9,000K, and that should mean all the snow is nice and orange. We've got the blue gel over on that flash, the red one over on that one, and we've got it on timer. And on the back of the flash, you can see that we have set it so that it is a quarter of a power and full power. I might change it so it's half and full power. And we're at F11, might bring that down. So that's the camera set. This is me running into position. That's the camera there. Here's me. So that's the blue on that one and and the red on this one camera over there now to make this look more dramatic the best thing is to do it kind of a bit more in the shade just now we're shooting with the sun right behind us and that means the flashes are having to be pumping out at full power and also the camera is having to be at maybe a 350th of a second so faster than its sync speed and also uh, around about f11 which is really meaning that just not very much power is getting out of the flashes so what we might do we might just head over to there because there's the sunshine here it's a shade over there. That might make a better, easier photo and more dramatic looking with the trees in the background. Okay, here we are again. We've got one flash there, one flash, uh, can you see it? There, and then this flash, which shouldn't be affecting the image, that's going to be triggering those two off. And it's got them both set at full power just now. And we're going for f6.7. So let's see how this looks. Good, good. Recharged. Recharged. Now for this second last one, I want the snow to look super blue. I want this place to look really, really cold. So on the camera, I'm changing the white balance so it is at around about 3,000. Because just now this is all about 5,000 because we've got sun sunshine. But if we change the white balance to around about 3,000, maybe 2,500, then this will look super, super blue. But for me to look the right kind of temperature, I need to put an orange uh, gel, a CTO, onto my flash, which is going to be hitting my face. 
The background can be whatever colour I want really. So let's just change that just now. White balance 3100. Okay, this is me going for the final shot. I've got a uh, blue flash up there, I've got a naked flash over there, camera over there, and a lot of snow inside of my shoe. So that's why it, this is gonna be the last one. Uh, we're gonna get try more get of try and get more of that background in the picture. Uh, and we've got a F16 this time. Uh, so the flash is both at full power, fully zoomed in for me standing about there. So let's see how this looks. Cool. Closer to this one. Cool. Hey, Bob, come here. Bob, come. Okay, so that's how to change the white balance, the look of the pictures, do some cross flash out in the snow. Hope you enjoyed.